is Kaya Athena and today I'm making a book review of The Call by Peter V. Brett as well as the rest of the series. I just finished reading The Call by Peter V. Brett. This is the fifth and final book in the Demon Cycle series. Book one is The Painted Man. In the United Kingdom it's The Painted Man but in the United States it is called The Water Man. This book and also the character. So but they are the same book and the same thing. This is book one. Then we have book two, The Desert Spear. Book three, The Daylight War. Book four, The Skull Throne. And book five, The Core. When I was about 300 pages into this, I actually put it down to read some short stories that the author has written. So I read The Great Bazaar and Brian's Gold. These are two short stories that take place after the first book. I hadn't actually re read these until now because for a long time I could not find these stories for a good price. I could only find them as an ebook and for some reason the ebook of these stories separately was the same price for me as like a full length novel and I didn't really feel like paying lots and lots of money for what is just 50 pages. This is, a, is over 100 pages because the two short stories combined. So when I found this paperback of the two short stories combined, I bought that. I much prefer reading in paperback anyway. And then I also read a short story on my Kindle. That one is called Messenger's Legacy and I'll try to put a cover up somewhere. That one takes place after book three. You can find this information on Goodreads as well, that will tell you clearly when what takes place. I was able to find that at some point uh, for a nice price as an ebook, but not when it first came out, but yeah, later. Actually, Messenger's Legacy is more of a novella than a short story on its own. It is over 100 pages, whereas these two short stories are about 50 pages, 60 pages each individually. There is also a short story or novella that takes place after after the fifth book but I haven't heard that good reviews of it so as of yet I haven't purchased it and I haven't read the synopsis but at some point I may still decide to do that. Here is all the books. I read book one in 2012 and after that I read the next books in the series as they came out. When I read this first book in 2012 I wasn't aware that I, it was going to be a series. This was back in the day when I didn't know as much about using the internet. We didn't have fast internet at all. I think I wasn't as much looking it up. Yeah, so when I bought this, I didn't know how long it was going to take. This book, book five, was released last year, I think, 2018. So I read these as they came out. I will say that was not an ideal thing for me because with each new book I had to try and remember what had happened and who the characters were. Let me now tell you a bit about the plot of this first book. Here is the synopsis. I don't know if you can see that. I will only give you the synopsis of like the beginning of the first book because I don't want to give spoilers for the rest of the series. So this video is going to be spoiler free. The first book is about Arlen, who lives with his parents on their farm and in this world that he lives in there are demons and th at night the demons come out and attack the humans. That's that's kind of the whole, the whole setup and what this is about. This is an adult fantasy series. I would say it is definitely adult. There is plenty of gore, a lot of fighting the demons and there is also talk of sex and stuff so that is def this is definitely for adults so if you're not good with gore I would say maybe don't read this also there is a trigger warning for the first book but it is kind of a spoiler because it happens later on in the book so I think I will go ahead and mention it but when I do I will hold up my hand so once I put once I this hand once I put my hand down the spoiler trigger warning will be over and so if you want to skip that, just skip to where I stop holding on my hand. It's not going to take long to explain. The trigger warning is rape. 
Okay, now that we got that over with, I thought that was important enough to include it. This series is high fantasy, though it is also had as a little dark moments, but it does have magic. It takes place in a whole different world. In this first book, here is the map. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see that all that well. Another thing to know about this series is that so book one follows some characters but then as we go to the later books part of book two follows a different character and the same with book three and the same with book four and what it does in the second third and fourth book is that it goes into the backstory of these characters so it goes into depth of the backstory of these characters so if you go into the second book straight away expecting a follow-up of the first book you might be disappointed if you don't know that part of the book is going to be spent on the backstory of different characters a different culture now i personally liked this i didn't know that this book was going to be like that but with the third book i did think it might happen um, so it didn't bother me personally, but I do know that there are people, especially when this book came out, that did not like that aspect. So I want to tell you that straight up so that you know that going into it. Because I think if you expect it, if you know it's going to be there, and if you think you're okay with that, then you can read it. If you think I'm not going to like that, then well. So in reading the fifth and final book, it took me quite a long time to read this. This is the biggest one of them all, I believe. It is 860 plus pages. It took me quite some time to read this book, about half a month. Like I said, when I was about page 300, I put this book down for a few days to read the short stories. More on them in a bit. And then I also spent four days reading some manga and graphic works um, if you're watching this video you may have already seen my graphic works wrap up for july which would hopefully go up before this video so i put this book down for a few days to read manga and stuff so then i had a bit more trouble getting back into the book after not reading it for like i don't know six or seven days and like i said in the beginning of each book of the series i had to try and think back like who were the characters what had happened in general i will say it is not ideal for me to read the first book of a five part series when it comes out and then read each of the books as it came out this book was actually originally published in 2009 and this one was published in 2011. okay so i read this book in 2012 when i finished this i then went on to buy this online and i read it after a while and then I got the next books as they came out and read it well after that. So that's how that happened. About the short stories. I would say they are not like totally necessary to understand the series. But what each of these stories do is they introduce certain characters that are in the main books. And so it gives backstory as to... Like, who are these people and how do they fit in with the characters we already know, if that makes sense? So I did really like reading these. I mean, not as much as the main books, but I did like reading these. And I, because in, in the main series, these characters aren't really introduced. It just, it filled in a bit of the gaps. I would say The Great Bazaar really, that really doesn't, not so much introduce new characters. So that is, that was a nice little addition. Not necessary, but nice. Um, however, Brain's Gold and Messenger's Legacy are both stories that introduce one or multiple characters. And for those, I'm definitely glad that I read them before I actually finished this book. Because it just, it gave you more of a feel of these characters. Now, this is the main five books. And as you can see, my additions don't quite match. Oh, I don't have them in the right order. Book 1, Book 2, Book 3 and Book 5 I have in the UK edition. Book 4 is a US edition, um, but unfortunately I didn't realise that when I ordered it online. So it is um, shorter and in this book the character that is the Painted Man is referred to as the Watered Man because this is the US edition. 
but what it was at the time was that the US edition has a woman on the cover and the UK edition has a man on the cover and I wasn't paying attention to the size and I really wanted the one with the woman on the cover because I feel we should see more women on adult fantasy covers so that's why this one but then if you look at it height wise after the first two books they suddenly decided to make the third book taller I don't know if you can see it all that well and that really bothered me at the time and then of course this one arrived which was like a different size again and yeah and then this one that matches number book three in size at the time I did like book four but not as much as I did the first three books because I could not quite remember who was who and what had happened so I struggled a bit throughout this book but this book I it took me a bit of time to get into it and like I didn't feel as connected to the characters as I had been in the beginning but as I progressed through the story that got better I remembered more the the book explains it also a bit which which is very helpful and overall I quite enjoyed this last book in the series more than I enjoyed book four and I do feel it dragged a little bit in the later parts of the book but overall yeah it is nice to finally finish a series off I don't often finish book series that are five or more books long this is one that I have been reading, like I said, since 2012. Although this book actually, this paperback came out in 2009, the hardcover came out in 2008. This book came out in 2018, so the author has been writing this series for over 10 years. But it has five books and some short stories and novellas, so... So, just for myself, it really works better for me to read a series closer together than well so long apart so that's a lesson for myself I usually wait with series particularly if they're a longer series I will buy all the books particularly if they're by a favorite author but then I won't usually read them until the whole series is complete or until I at least know when the last book is going to be released and then start a little bit before that if that makes sense I really can't stand cliffhangers now I will say book three ended on a huge cliffhanger, which I was not prepared for. So when this came out, I wanted to read it pretty soon after I got it. I can't really remember if the if books one and two ended on cliffhangers because it has been so long since I read these that I remember like the main events and stuff, but not exactly where one ends and the other be begins, if that makes sense. But I remember the cliffhanger of this one particularly because it bothered me for a while until I could actually read this book. Overall in the whole series, book four is my least favorite out of the five main novels. Of course, this this review is spoiler free, so I don't want to give spoilers away as to why this was my least favorite book in any more detail. I did like it, but not as much as the earlier books. And it is really nice now to have finished the series with this book. I am curious about the next the the novella that takes place after this book so i will look into it and see read the synopsis and see what it's about how much it costs am i interested that sort of thing i did recently hear someone say that the author might be writing more books in this world but i'm not entirely sure if that's true or not so maybe let me know we will see i think if this series was a tv series it would be a bit too much fighting for me which I prefer to read about that rather than seeing it on TV, if that makes sense. Like in films or TV series, if there's a lot of like fight scenes going on, I tend to get bored with my attention. I tend to drift off and yeah, I find it hard to concentrate on those if they go on for a while. Whereas I feel with books, I, I am somehow much more engaged. I find it much more interesting to read about in books. Um, yeah, that's just who I am. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of care went into creating this world and all the different kinds of demons that there are, which you slowly learn about over the whole series. So the first book is 544 pages, this edition at least. The second book is 782 pages. The third book is 803 pages, though it does have a glossary in the back 
that's also a few pages I, that's included in this, but 655 pages. And this one has 866 pages. These two short stories together along with some, like a glossary thing in the back is, 100 and, is 115 pages. And the short story, Messenger's Legacy, is around 116 pages, but I can't remember the exact amount. And the only way I know this is by looking on Amazon where I pulled it from or because on my e-reader I don't think it says the page numbers I'm not sure my, my Kindle doesn't say page numbers for most of the books I've read on it so it could be that this book does have it but I've I'm not I haven't I'm not displaying that information because it is often not there so and so I think we get to the end of this review on the author's website there is a short piece I reckon maybe 10-ish pages that is about the main character of this book back when he was younger. Uh, you can read that if you want to after you finish this book. It didn't stand out to me or anything. It was nice to read. It, it was a nice little extra so it's free. So I mean if you liked the first book you could definitely read it but it's not like... I, I, it, do, it doesn't add anything to the series or anything but it was, a, it was free to read on the author's website. And it doesn't take you that long to read because it's not that long. So, you know, that's there if you're a fan of the series and want to read that. Be careful though, because on the author's website, there are also other pieces to, that you can read that are contain spoilers. So, you know, threat with caution. But I think that is all I wanted to say about these books. This has become quite a long review, but it was a whole series to discuss. I didn't go into any spoilers because I like my reviews to be spoiler free other than that trigger warning i did but if you have any questions feel free to ask i hope you enjoyed this video of this series and hearing about my reading experience thank you very much for watching this video and i hope to see you in my next one bye